Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. Last time, we started our journey that we're going to be sent to Marcus. moment to talk ah a fellow londoner good to see i'm not the only man of means aboard rupert martin pleased to meet you Hatham kenway pleasure seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city oh you didn't hear about the murder at the opera house no what happened they're still trying to sort it all out and i suspect they'll be at it for a good long while any word on the motive they've ruled out robbery eh? So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Or something more personal. More lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. Well, that was pretty useless. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Okay, is that not a settings button? I guess not. Good morning, Doctor. To you as well. A question, if I may. Do you serve aboard the ship, or are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover why that is. Well, I hope you are successful in your endeavors. As do I. Thank you for the kind words. Hmm. Looks like I play a game, but... Really? I don't know if I, if I want to play a game or not. Let's just go ahead and move forward. If anybody else to talk to, it's one thing. But if not... Captain? Mr. Kenway! I just wanted to thank you again for taking me aboard. And apologize for any inconvenience it may have caused. Inconvenience would be an understatement. I'm sorry, I don't follow. My ship was held in port for two days that we might accommodate you. I lost several contracts as a result. I had no idea. Of course not. You nobles are all the same. Oh, a noble? Huh. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Well, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnell. <laughs> so I thought. And yet, here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. He's just gonna get destroyed. Oh, 
Okay, I'm holding B into parry stance, and it's like gonna be tax. Dating dropkick? Do you yield? Never! How do you like these odds? What's the meaning of this? Captain, explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. What? These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife, Beth. Hmm. <coughs> <laughs> I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Ooh. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Mm. Excellent. Good day. Correct. Well, let's go see what this guy wants. Hello, sir. Do you expect we'll have a pleasant crossing? It is a quiet time of year, though rogue storms and troubled waters are not unheard of. But no need to fret. At worst, they'll prove an inconvenience. I'm more concerned about pirates and rogue privateers. Have you encountered them before? Aye. But the Providence is a strong ship, and her crew well trained. They will surely keep us safe. I feel that's what we call foreshadowing. Oh, I can go down there. Thank you. This guy sounds like he's too advanced for us to play with. Like, our main guy. He doesn't really look at the main character either. On the cover. Hmm. That took a while for no reason.
Mr. Kenway. Captain? Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. Wait, this is it still the same mission? He's cut our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on land and water. That's tin fish biscuits. You looking for another fight? That it? Go away. Hmm. Don't even look him in the eye. Uh... Quite the basting you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Ethan Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. That they're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. We need to raise morale, because right now, no one's really happy with him. I got nothing to say to you. Okay. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. serving for another couple of hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations, as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice? Go find James. His ears are always open. James, and where eh? might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me. Oh, or this game. Are you James? Hi. Ethan Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I know what that means. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? 
someone's throwing cargo overboard. Hmm. But why? Why? Like... Clue? I know it's playing Scooby Doo. Go back to my desk here. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Thirty three. Dang, that's taking a while. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My theory is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted up! She's making ready to fire! Speaking of Feet which. to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannon! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail, to load a cannon, to wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? Wow. Well, he's gonna die. Secure the hatch! Hey, Tim. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure? This is how you want to play it. Sword fighting tutorial, let's do it. It's the wall. Mills? The bad guy? I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. 
What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. Then I will. All right. All right. <laughs> 